we're here with Abdul and we're at Real Produce. That's right, Real Produce International Market in Palo Alto, California. What's the address, Abdul? 2100 El Camino Real. Ooh, 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 if you're in the area, even if you're not in the area, come on down and check it out because there's all kinds of great goodies here. We're gonna show you those right now. It's not just produce, but a ton of other things. So, Abdul, yep. it's COVID-19, a lot of stores are you know, kind of shuttering and yeah. and minimizing, and you guys make a bold move and open this beautiful store. Yeah, the the, the area needs it. You know, there there's been a few previous owners in the past that really didn't make it. So we are trying to do something new here, bring out like some new products, some unique products that people in the area haven't seen before, and it's been going good so far. Yeah, the, the reviews are fantastic. Folks, this is a great place. You gotta come down and check it out. And not only is Real Produce located here in Palo Alto, but if you're in San Jose, Real Produce is located where? 5353 Alameda and Expressway, right next to Costco. <laughs> oh boy, you can't beat that. Hey, <laughs> and you guys do a fantastic job. Folks, there's all kinds of great stuff here. Absolutely, you gotta keep it stocked up. So this is a great item. It's January. We have California Thompson Seedless Natural Grapes from Sunview. Now, we know we've done grapes recently on this channel, but I have to reiterate, when you see these amber Thompson Seedless Grapes, this color, that is when they are the sweetest and the best. All this color here, the amber, even the slight brown, that's sugar. These grapes have been on the vine longer than all the other grapes because now we're starting to get import grapes in from South America. But this is still California and it's absolutely delicious. Super, super, super sweet. I wouldn't pass it up. So we're all used to the red dragon fruit that is commonly in the stores today. Now, it started hitting the markets more commonly about 10 years ago. Usually it was a specialty item and, and it still is, but it's becoming more and more of a regular item as different ethnicities are demanding the fruits from where they, you know, from where they come from. But have you ever seen, these are starting to hit the markets a lot now too, yellow dragon fruit, which has a higher sugar content. You're gonna be more expensive and they're absolutely beautiful inside. You can't beat it. So that's another item here at Real Produce International Market. So we're just gonna pick out random items and take a look at them and showcase them for you. Now remember, it's January, so the seasons will change. And as the seasons change, just like any other store, more produce will come in here, except this one here is very specialized. I mean, look at this. Right now we have shishitos, absolutely good shishito peppers, delicious. Now we all know what to do with these. We get the fire going really hot on the stove, pour in the oil, get the oil really hot. Throw these in until they're blistered, pull them off right away, add a little spices, salt if you want, mix it up. Eat that with beer like potato chips. Absolutely fantastic. And then of course we get into the heat of the moment as well with our habaneros and fresno chilies and some of these things it's great it's nice to have these during the winter time kohlrabi one of my absolute favorites loaded 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 with vitamin c vitamin k a lot of antioxidants this is absolutely delicious it's called the cabbage turnip is what a lot of folks call this there's purple ones and these ones happen to be green and when i was a kid i worked for this old man and he would say oh no you don't eat the leaves you don't eat the leaves well yes you do eat the leaves or you can juice them as well the whole thing is absolutely delicious so you cook this like you would a turnip and you would cook this like you would any other greens as well sauteed absolutely delicious the cabbage turnip though it has no turnip flavor to it at all it's very uh, cabbagey flavor in the cruciferous family so get yourself some kohlrabi Folks, this is Chava. He is one of the workers here. He puts together this whole, what we call the wet rack. And how long have you been doing this, produce? Uh, yeah, here I'm working produce, but uh, I work in for a long time. I have a nice year experience in produce. And uh, um, I work in, uh, I know the, the, uh, the produce ground, the locals and internationals. The, I know where they come from. And 
Yeah, uh, me. Uh, this is a new store, but I, uh, I work in this store because I like it nice and new, and I want to uh, do everything nice and working hard, and I uh, make a fresh product right here and looking good because I like customers come and uh, shop nice and happy. Excellent. So, folks, when you come in here, definitely say hello to Chala, that's for sure. One of my favorites, fresh fenugreek leaves. Ooh, boy. Now, this is great for ladies who are lactating. This helps with lactation. And at the same time, it helps men with their testosterone. So, ladies and gentlemen, both want to eat a lot of fenugreek. So out front here, in front of the store at Real Produce and International Market here in Palo Alto, look at this citrus, all this citrus. It's citrus season, it's a citrus celebration. So many varieties are available right now. But I wanna to talk to you about, if I can find my knife, I wanna to talk to you about this particular orange. Now, Caracara oranges have been on the market for quite a while now. I remember when they first hit the market, I was trying to get them. For a company I worked at, none of the suppliers even heard of them. Well, now they're very common, but this is really cool. These Caracara oranges are nice and small. Now, th these are perfect. Sometimes you just want a little citrus snack, or maybe you want to juice them in a juicer, or maybe you want to give them to kids or something. Well, this size is perfect. And what's really good about this size is you can sell them really cheap too. Two pounds for a dollar. That's pretty darn good right there. That's 50 cents a pound for a Caracara Naval Orange, which originated in Hacienda de Caracara back in the 70s. Absolutely delicious piece of fruit here. Not only is it loaded with the vitamin C that all the other oranges are loaded with, but the beta carotene content in here as well because of its red color. So come on down to the Real Produce International Market here in Palo Alto and get yourself some Cara Cara snack size, Cara Cara Red Naval Oranges. It's very rare in January to get a honeydew that is ripe and ready to eat because they come from below the equator and they have, well, below the border and then below the equator before they start coming from California again. But they have to pick them green so that they last while they ship. These have the nice waxy surface, the creamy color, and the interior is absolutely delicious. Boy, this is a January treat, and I know that it's just gonna be here. There's a window of time here at the Real Produce and International Market right here in Palo Alto. So come and get them while you can. In the midst of checking out all the fantastic produce, we visited the kitchen where Omar, Carlos, and Chef Hannah were busy filling customer orders with some very alluring dishes. Everything is made from scratch. Chef Hannah spent nine years in various kitchens around the Bay Area, but nothing tasted like the food from his homeland. Some came close, but there was something missing. Sometimes it's just the magic in the chef's hands that makes all the difference. Chef Hannah wanted Middle Eastern foods that reminded him of his home, and he couldn't find it. So what's the next best step? Do it yourself. And that's exactly what he did. He planned and designed the kitchen here at Real Produce International Market, and it has surely paid off. The atmosphere? Inviting. The staff? Knowledgeable and friendly. 
and his food <laughs> is heavenly. What are you making? Falafel. Omar's making some killer falafels here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Can't wait to try them. This is Chef Hanna's baba ganoush. Oh, look at that. Now, folks, if you don't know, baba ganoush is made from eggplant and what, eggplant Chef Hanna? And uh, tahine, sesame seed sauce, and uh, olive oil, and the sa garlic, and salt. So, we ground the eggplant, we roast it, hmm. and then we smash it with the tahine. So, we use our hands, it's like a folk style. A lot of people, they like it. Uh, Came, some people they came like from San Jose, San Mateo to get that one. All right, so people coming from all over the place just to get Chef Hannah's Baba Ganoush. Oh, mm. so how is it? I love Baba Ganoush, but this is real Baba Ganoush. If you're used to Baba Ganoush in a can or in a jar, <laughs> you haven't had anything until you came here to get Chef Hannah's Baba like Ganoush. It's fantastic. Yeah, thank you. And have french fries, huh? Of course, no one can pass up the all-American fried food, french fries. But Chef Hanna has a secret sauce. Well, actually, it's not so secret. He told me what it is. It's a garlic sauce that he makes, and then he puts three or four different spices on top of the fries. Oh, my gosh, it's absolutely delicious. Hanna. Yeah, so that one is a garlic sauce. We make it like uh, with a uh, lemon, olive oil, it's uh, fresh and healthy. Oh. Yeah, there's no chemical, there's no dairy. It's, it's <laughs> always a question. That's amazing. Absolutely yeah. delicious. Hopefully it's got famous. <laughs> oh, it'll be famous. Lot, You're going to be famous. A lot, a lot of people, they mix it actually with the, with the eggs. With oh, the okay. And they mix it with the potatoes to get thick, but Ours, I make it like uh, with the olive oil, lemon, garlic, salt. Oh. And, and you know what I like? There's not too much garlic in it, so you you don't walk around smelling like a yeah. like a, 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 a vampire's enemy. No, mm. we mm. try to mm. make sure is, uh, the garlic uh, is not okay. Like you can feel a little bit the cake, but there's no smell. Right. Yeah. So it's perfect, it's perfectly good. flavored. You like it? Fantastic. Well, Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look how beautiful that is, huh? Yeah, with the tahini sauce. So we do it with the tahini sauce. So we make it here from the sesame seed sauce. Yes. With the lemon. So I have the order oh. from Martin. Wow! Folks, there's nothing like fresh falafel, but there's nothing like fresh falafel when it's homemade right here. Oh my goodness. I'm going for seconds. We just tried some fantastic homemade hummus some falafel, some of these fries, the garlic sauce, the tahini, the beef shawarma, and the, and the chicken shawarma. Chicken shawarma, yes. Folks, again, we're just scratching the surface of what Chef Hanna here can do at the Real Produce International Market here in Palo Alto. you got to come in here and check this out. This stuff is fantastic. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, we have the secret uh, tahini sauce, we do have the garlic sauce, and we do have the baba ganoush too. Yes, everything is... Uh, fresh it's good uh, tasting good everything's made from scratch, made from scratch. That's the old way you know, the old way. folks if you're gonna sit there behind your computer and order stuff to get delivered to your house from some giant manufacturer well good luck to you but if you want something real hey it's in the name the real produce international market all right man we've got our food to go and we are ready Thank you very much, Chef you are, Hanna. You are welcome. Come on down to the Real Produce International Market. Yeah, see, see you guys soon. We have the best food and it's the cheaper price too. And I'm ready. So that's our visit to the Real Produce Store and International Market here in Palo Alto, California, on the corner of Oxford and El Camino Real. 
Folks, if you haven't been here, come on down and check it out. They've got some great stuff, and I'm very happy to have been here today. Till next time, I'm Dan the Produce Man reminding you that it's always best when you get it fresh.